Hi folks. Okay, let's see. I'm going to start off with introducing our my business here. Highlands Auto Exchange is us. And just to give you guys an idea, if you come here to look at a car or to pick up a car that you buy off the internet, this is what our place looks like. All right, today I am very unhappy about this vehicle. It's going to be great for someone else, but it's going to really stink for me. Okay, what this is is a 1997 Isuzu Rodeo. And let's take a look at this. Yep, that is correct. 96,925 miles. You're probably saying, well, geez, why are you upset? It looks like such a nice vehicle and it's low miles and everything. Well, here's the problem. I'll start her up for you. The truck runs great. Everything I know of works on it. In fact, let's just see here. Right rear window. No problem. Right front, no problem. Swing around here. Left window, no problem. Driver's window, no problem. The air conditioner is ice, ice cold. For some reason, when you start the vehicle up, these lights go on, but they will go off as you'll see when we drive the car. Okay, it's got uh, AM FM cassette, which back then that's what it had. Uh, I hear it on. Let me see if I can get it to go a little louder. Oh, it's missing the knob, but it's it's on. Okay, but all this is really irrelevant. Uh, oh, mirrors. Let's check those. I don't even know why I'm bothering going through all this, but I'm doing it for your benefit. And you'll see what I'm crying about in a second. Uh, the interior, of course, looks just like it should with this kind of mileage, 96,000. 4x4 does work exactly as it should. Automatic transmissions of 4-speed. Horn works, wipers work, but look at this. This is how you can tell that's legit mileage. As you can see, the seats are in fantastic shape. We'll go out here. All right, now let's see, we'll check the uh, tires. Again, I, I'm just, this is my habit. It's front tire, not so good. I'm guessing that's probably, I don't know, 50% of the tread left. Rear tire, same as the front. We'll go around here. Yeah, this tire, same as the other side, all of them. They're all 50 percenters, it looks like. Okay, here's the point, folks. This truck, even though, as you can see, it looks good, it's clean, it's shiny, I'm going to be selling this as a parts-only vehicle. Why? The frame is rotted out. I didn't notice it when I bought it, um, but I found out later that the frame, you can see right down there. There's some right there. I could sell this actually if I wanted to and there you go there you see that and there's that part I could sell this as a whole car if I wanted to probably ask more money and I could get away with selling it with the bad frame I don't have the conscience to do that I'd rather sell it as a parts vehicle hey if somebody wants to put some uh, metal on this weld it on there fix the frame up you are welcome to do that but I am not selling it as a regular vehicle. I'm selling it for parts. I do have a clean title for it. In fact, I just picked the title up today. Okay, I do have a clean title for this vehicle. Uh, if you can, you can you can drive it. It runs fantastic. Air is cold, but I would not recommend it. But you guys got to understand something. I put a lot of my cars on eBay. If I put this vehicle on eBay as a parts-only vehicle, I can't list words in there like having a clean title. I can't list in that it runs good. I can't, there's a lot of things I can't do. But for a video on the internet, I can do pretty much anything I want, which is why I'm going into all this detail and showing you this vehicle. It broke my heart, I'll be honest with you, when my mechanic uh, put it up on the lift and saw um, that frame because I was all excited about getting a nice low mileage Isuzu Rodeo, which are very popular. Unfortunately, I got stuck. So I'm gonna take a big hit on this one to sell it as a parts only vehicle. But who knows, somebody may have another one that they need good parts off of, or somebody might have the skill to be able to fix that, um, that frame. Oh, hold on, this takes two hands to, as you can see, you gotta pull this. Sorry about that, and close the door. All right, somebody, um, you know, might be able to fix it. I can't, I don't have the skills, and honestly, I really don't want to do it. But here we go. You can see how nice and decent the body. See, this is what tricked me. Usually, 
when they have a bad frame like this, the body's all rotted out. Well, this one fooled me. All I saw was nice, clean, shiny paint, a nice, great running car. I never bothered to bend over and look at the frame. And it's gonna end up costing me and a lot of money too, I might add. But that's not your problem. You guys, I hope, get a good deal on this. All right, listen to the engine. Yep, that is exactly what a low mileage Isuzu six cylinder should sound like. All right, I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna shut this up. About the only damage on this vehicle is right there. It looks like it, you know, got a little bump right in the front, as you can see. All right, but other than that, the rest of this thing is stupid nice. Like I said, I got suckered in because of how nice it looked, but you know what? I'm not gonna do that to you guys. To my people that buy cars, I have to tell the truth and I have to, you know, be upfront. All right, let's take it for a ride. And this, I promise you, will be the last time I drive this vehicle. Um, just, I don't know, I drove it back, you know, at 75 miles an hour from 50 miles away and didn't have an issue, but I also didn't know about the frame. All right, let's see how this works. All right, there's the wheel, tilt wheel. So here we go, we'll take it for a spin. Oop, 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 oop. And like I said, I just, you know, it just bothers me that uh, I got taken in like this. Sure does run good though. Ship's smooth, it's quiet. It's a nice truck. I mean, if, it, if that frame rot doesn't bother you, I mean, hey, you can actually just take this thing, take it home and drive it for all, you know, if you want to. I just personally wouldn't do it. All right, goes down the road relatively straight. You can see almost 55 miles an hour, no problem. I mean, it does, certainly you can't tell by driving or just glancing at this that there's anything wrong with it. That's what I'm saying. I could probably get away with selling it without ever saying anything about the frame. It would just be unfair to do. Plus, I think it might be a liability too because if something were to happen because of the frame and I didn't tell somebody about it, I could probably get in a decent amount of trouble and I'm not interested in doing that. I'd rather tell the truth, it's easier. All right, we'll turn around here. And here we go, we'll head back. See, as you see, ships nice and smooth. Well, I'll tell you, it's like pretty warm. It's like 80 degrees and like almost 100% humidity. It's been raining on and off. I'm so glad to have air conditioning in a vehicle. Uh, and that's about it, folks. I don't know what else to tell you. It, you know, like I said, it's gonna be cheap to buy, um, to do whatever you want with, fix it, repair it and sell it, keep it. Uh, take all the parts off and junk it, junk it. I, I don't care what you do with it. I just, you know, I'm just a little angry with myself actually that I, I didn't take more time and check into this thing. All right, so there you have it, folks. Let me do a, a little uh, recap and I'll also go around the outside of the vehicle in the sunshine because so, I was in the trees before when I did it. This is a 1997 Isuzu Rodeo with 96,926 miles on it. All right. It's gonna be sold as is, where is, as, for parts only. And I, the reason why, as you saw earlier in the video, because of, it's got a frame issue. As far as mechanically running, the engine and transmission, I would say, are sound as can be. In fact, as you can see, very low mileage. Now, I'm probably, if I can't sell this on the internet, it's probably going to go to the junkyard. I'm not gonna get a lot for it. I'll be lucky if I get maybe six or $700 for it. But hopefully I can sell it on the internet and not take too big a beating and someone gets a nice cheap, you know, Suzy Rodeo. Normally, something like this, if the frame wasn't bad in this, I could probably get 3,500 bucks for this with this kind of mileage. Obviously, I'm not even gonna get half of that probably you know, for parts, but I just, like I said, my conscience won't allow me to sell this as a complete vehicle. Anyway, that's it, folks, and I hope, as I always do, that somebody that needs a really low mileage, good parts vehicle can pick this one up. Thanks.